Hey there. So I am back at Garden Crossings. They're having a major sale, 50% off annuals, perennials, and then I think 30% off trees and shrubs or something like that. It's insane. So I came back, I have a cart full of stuff and I wanna show you what they have in here. So pretty. It's like this kind of uh, trial garden almost, or it's like a garden that shows all the different things. You got some gara right here, ageratum, I think. Might not be ageratum. Some flax, I think. No, oh, there's like, oh, there's actually, oh yeah, flax. Uh, sweet Spire, there's some cat's pajamas. Look at that delphinium. Holy cow, it's probably like six feet tall maybe. Wow, it's beautiful. That is called the New Millennium Purple Passion. Wow, this is gorgeous. There's some salvia in here. Some butterfly weed. Sedums. Beatrice flax. This is called Flax Luminary Opalescence. It's massive. Some salvia on there. This is really cute. Looks like it's a water fountain. These are beautiful colors together. Oh my word, look, there's a butterfly. Hi, buddy. Oh, his wing is broken. Oh, oh, bud. Oh. Sad. Wow, this is gorgeous. Look at that butterfly bush. That hollyhock. Wow. That is super cute in the middle. So we just kind of walked through all that. And this is the garden center out here. You can shop for perennials. Got some uh, millennium allium here. Oh, you know what? I wonder if this is like a, a butterfly garden. <gasps> Wait, hold up. <laughs> One of you told me I was waiting to see your reaction of the butterfly garden. Okay, can I just tell you, I have purposely not filmed because I have a whole, I already have a whole cart of stuff. And I, number one, there's people in here and I don't want to be rude and film people if they don't want to be filmed. Uh, number two, I literally have like cried underneath my glasses about like three times. <laughs> so I'm like, y'all probably don't want to see me cry. I just stumbled upon, I think the butterfly garden. This is amazing like, like there's literally but no wonder there's a butterfly in here i'm blown away let's keep going oh my goodness and it just smells wonderful there's some super tunia there with some lavularia alyssum behind it there is some uh veronica speedwell some Budlia, butterfly bush, and these blooms are massive. There's some more Budlia up there. The pink one is called Pugster Pink. The blue one's called Pugster Blue. And then in the back there, there's some coneflower, uh, some butterfly weed, of course. 
There's some kind of past bloom Minarda. Uh, oh, we've got some uh, meteor showers, Verbena, probably. And some sort of Supertunia. Let's see what it is. Daybreak Charm. Wow. That is gorgeous. And this is really neat, too. This is, I think it's called a Kufia, maybe? Um, let me see. Hold on. Yeah, Kufia, if I'm saying that right. The Millionaire. Gorgeous. Um, don't you guys want to live in here? Like, like, I want to live in here as, like, a human, but can you imagine being a butterfly and living in here? Wowzer. That is so cute. You can get your picture taken. This is probably... The most beautiful color butterfly bush I've ever seen. I love, I love that color pink. Oh my word. I'm trying to hold it together, guys. Like, I, I, I can't barely talk. I'm stuttering. Goodness. These colors together. Wow. That is a beautiful combination with that dark, uh, past bloom. All right, we gotta keep going. My poor cart is out there just like saying, where did you go? <laughs> oh my God, oh, is that a Nethera? What is that? No, I want a Nethera and I can't find it anywhere. Wow, that must be like a planter. Wow, this is just beautiful. Some sedum here. Tons of butterfly bush. What is that, fennel? <laughs> what is that? How neat is that? Butterflies must like fennel. This stuff is massive too. That's probably like six feet tall. I'm not trying to be dramatic. I'm just, ha I'm like kind of having a hard time breathing and it's not even hot in here. I, I have like this nervous, like kind of like stomach ache, like pit in my stomach because I'm just so excited. Anyway, lots of milkweeds. Look, look, look. Listen, <laughs> let me just, oh my gosh, I, all right, I'm gonna, I need a minute. This, like, is phenomenal. I just, I'm blown away. Okay, what is this one? Double K play candy corn? That is massive. I kind of hope mine doesn't get that big. It probably won't, because they probably like fertilize a bunch of stuff in here, but looks like that might be a mahogany monster back there. And look at that beautiful, like lacy backdrop it gives to this, this shrub right here. This looks like something from like another dimension. Like it just looks almost like an alien type of a plant. It is insane. I wish that you could see like the scale of all this. This is beautiful. This is that Super Tunia Bardot. All right, let's walk. Let's walk the path. There is just nothing better than walking, <gasps> walking the path. Let me just take a minute and take this in. I'm pretty sure this is Mahogany Monster. Look. Yes. Oh, goodness. Look at 
this bee balm, Linarda. Wow, that's a comb flower in here. I've got some comb flower on my cart. You guys are gonna freak out when you see what I bought. Nate said, Jess, just go ahead and spend what you want. You work hard, you deserve it. And I was like, oh, I don't know. It's gonna be hard for me. <laughs> That's another reason why I feel sick to my stomach because I probably have like, I don't know, $200 worth of stuff on my cart, which is absolutely insane for a girl like me. But wow, even like these little zinnias in here not afraid to mix like pink yellow and orange <laughs> it's just so colorful like thank god for these people who created this home for the butterflies wow this this movie isn't even uh it's yeah it doesn't do any of the justice but let's get on here real quick and look we've got all the different butterflies of michigan so if i wasn't so shaky and like whew, nervous and i could just calm down i could probably uh find more of them <gasps> but look look what i did find Oh my gosh. Wow, is there... Oh, look in there. There's some in there too. <sighs> Hopefully they didn't think someone left their cart and they put it away. Oh goodness. You know what? It sounds like someone's like giving a tour out there. My Aunt Mary said that they were going to give a tour today. I don't know if you can hear someone like on a speaker. I should have got involved in that. These are beautiful pentas. Hollyhocks. I can't grow hollyhocks. They just turn to rust. In my garden. That's beautiful. That is, if you want to know, called the Halo series, uh, Sir, series? Yellow, uh, Yarrow. Alright, I, um, we gotta go. I'm literally, my heart's beating so fast, I wish you could, uh, wish you could feel my heart beat. original re-blooming hydrangea mm -hmm. of the big leaf. The problem is, is for it to go from bloom in the summer to its next cycle, it's fall by the time it's ready to do its next cycle. So it, it's, it's hard. And if you lose that first cycle because of the winter kill, the winter killed your buds, it's, it's going to take you forever. So Proven Winners has a new series. It's called the Let's Dance series. And any of that kind of color person, but I love the Atlas rose. And I think it's because it's so rewarding with how many blooms it gives you throughout the summer. So right now they need to come through and kind of deadhead. You don't have to deadhead it, but we'll deadhead these dead ones off. And it just keeps 
I feel like I just uh, met a famous person. <laughs> I got to go through um, Heidi's tour and I would go over to the other side and go through Rod. I think it was Rod's tour, uh, but I gotta get going because I got all these plants, you guys. <laughs> oh, but they were half off. I couldn't pass it up. I just couldn't do it. And y'all know I don't ever spend money on things usually. I'm usually hacking and digging and splitting <laughs> and dumping until the next year. So this is, um, this is just wonderful. Anyway, I got to meet Heidi. We talked a little bit about, um, where I work and how my work is only about like eight to 10 minutes away from here and how I stumbled upon this place. And then, uh, I didn't even know she had a YouTube account, but anyway, I, um, have been watching some of her movies and they are amazing. She's a wealth of knowledge. So I'm so excited to um, just stumble upon this uh, treasure of a woman and treasure of a place. I found out that she knows my Aunt Mary and Uncle Kurt. They used to grow plants for her, I guess. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, um, I'm gonna get going, go home and I'll show you what we got. Back home, I'm gonna show you all the plants I got and it's uh, pretty amazing. Nothing like this has ever happened to me in my life. So uh, these are amazing plants. They're not, oh, there's a giant bee. Uh, these are amazing plants. They're not clearance plants. They're perfectly good plants and they're all proven winner, which is just unlike anything I usually do. So big thank you to my husband, Nate, who encouraged me to actually spend some money and buy some plants, but Anyway, let's get right to it. Start with these Invincible Ruby. Is that what it was? Yeah. Invincible Ruby, Smooth Hydrangea. I have the best luck with the Smooth Hydrangeas. Uh, last year I did try the Bigger Leaf Mountain Hydrangea, the tough stuff. So we're seeing how those do. And they're doing pretty good so far, but uh, usually I have a hard time getting hydrangeas to bloom unless they're the smooth kind like Annabelle, uh, Invincible, Wee White, uh, Lametta, that kind of thing. I really want to try some of these for my new sun garden that we put in the other day. Look at that. Got three of the Invincible Ruby. Just set them there. Here, you gotta see. You gotta see this. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, I don't have any pink ones. All I have is white. I think white and then the wee white actually is more of like a limeier green that I've noticed. It does get white at one point in the season, but um, anyway, so three of those. And then I got lemony lace, elderberry. And this is one of my husband's favorite. I had one once and I killed it because I moved it too many times. <laughs> So this is for you, sweet Nady. He likes uh, like the limey green stuff, I noticed, because his favorite, other favorite perennials, the Hakana Chloe grass, all gold. So I got one of these, and this one gets pretty big, so I only got one of them. Then I got uh, three Penstemon Midnight Masquerade. This is my favorite Penstemon. It is just gorgeous. And then after it's done blooming, it just has these beautiful bronzy, kind of mauve looking stems and leaves on it. So this is a great plant. I love this so much. Uh, all right, I'm trying to think of how I can do this. <laughs> Maybe I'll take this box. Oh, and they also gave you these boxes to take home uh, to put your, your stuff in, which is awesome. All, all of these plants fit in this one box. So, I'm just going to put this on the ground and put them back in the box. Next up, let's see here. Some of these are kind of scattered about, but I'm, I don't know. I was going to say I'm most excited, but I can't, that's not true. I can't pick the one I'm most excited about, but I am very, very excited about this delphinium. And you guys, this is called a red lark delphinium. It's brand new on the market this year. It is 
red. It's a red delphinium and it's kind of like a muted red. It's a beautiful color. Uh, let me, here, let me show you this one. Well, I can show you the tag too, I guess, but um, it's like a muted reddish color with, I don't know what you'd call it. It almost has like a peachy tone mixed in it, but you can kind of see these are gonna start blooming here soon. And it is just the most beautiful red delphinium. My sister and I seen this last year at the, was it the Walter? No, the Darwin Perennial Days. It was a tour we got to go on and I got these for $6, I think, 50% off. Like you go anywhere else and pay 20 bucks for this. So I got three of these, red lark delphinium and the other one's way back in there. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? I got three of these cone flower. Let's see what kind I got. There's so many different cone flowers there. It was very hard to pick. It, I, it was hard. It was so hard. So this is a sombrero sangrita cone flower. Love the red. I'm just a sucker for red, uh, red plants. I'm not like a huge red fan in general, like in the rest of my life. Uh, unless it's like Christmas time, but in the garden, I just love red. It's so vibrant and exciting. I got three of those. And like I said, there were so many other different varieties of comb flower, and I wanted to get three of everything, but I was like, we can't do this. We were, we're already spending way too much money. Uh, but so um, I just got three, I think, different kinds. So let me grab the, oh, the three different ones. So these are the three ones I got. And I thought, you know what? I do have a little bit of a, a tiny bit of an issue with rabbits eating my comb flower. They don't, it's not, it's not a terrible issue at all. They might just like come in and hack one off once in a while. So um, I thought, you know what? We'll just try these few different kinds and see if we have any issues with the rabbits. And if we like them, maybe we'll get more, but this pink one here is called the color coded the fuchsia is bright and i have the color coded price is white that is my maiden name price so i'm excited to get another one from that series and this yellow one this is beautiful i loved it uh this one is called canary feathers so pretty and then i got this kind of like orangey colored one and this one is uh, sombrero adobe orange actually i think i have this one i think i got this one for free at the darwin days last year and it's over there by my siberian iris so now i got another one so we've got some lupin i planted some lupin last year and it did really well so i thought i'd go out and get some more this one this uh west country blacksmith lupin i seen in the gardens there at garden crossing and it was just to die for so i got one of those uh i got three different colors and then this one is called west country tequila flame and then this one is called mini gallery pink by color that one actually has a bloom on it I'm really excited about this. I seen this there the other day when I went and I wanted to buy some, but I didn't. I just love Bleeding Heart so much and I only have the old fashioned kind, which is gorgeous. I love it to death. Um, but this one has the chartreuse leaves on it and you can see how pretty it is. It's still blooming. So I'm really excited to get this uh, chartreuse gold leaf one. And it says, this is called Gold Heart Old Fashioned Bleeding Heart beautiful plant <laughs> and then i kind of did the same thing with shasta daisies uh that i did with the cone flower i bought like three different colors beside the besides the red uh, i just wanted to see how they would do but i got the amazing daisies marshmallow it's a really pretty center i got the amazing daisies spun silk And I've got the Amazing Daisies Daisy May. And I already have this one, the Daisy May. I actually have three of them and I love them. So I was like, can't go wrong with Amazing Daisies Daisy May. I 
think I got six. Oh, and I bought a moth. <laughs> Little buddy. Uh, so anyway, I think I got six of these. Six. Yes, I seen these in their gardens when I was there the other day and I just went nuts for them. They've got this perfectly shaped mounded habit and just there's so many colors going on on this. It's three of them kind of snapped off and broke, but you've got red, green, and yellow going on. And then also the past bloom little sections there are kind of like a more whiter muted yellow color so i just thought that these were so cute and i mostly loved like the habit that they created just this perfect mound so i got six of these and these are called of course the moth our moth friend is right over the word but it says rocking round bright idea i got three of these these are another bleeding heart and when I seen these in their gardens there at Garden Crossing, they were in the full sun. And that's what I love the most about these ones. Um, it's called Pink Diamonds. They've got like almost like a blue foliage and it kind of reminds me of uh, parsley actually, except blue. And then these blooms are just so dainty and beautiful and they bloom like all summer long, I guess. I guess they start in the spring and then they keep going throughout the summer. So. I was so excited to get these and I got three of these. The next plant I'm going to show you is called Ligularia and I'm really excited to try these because I've tried a couple of different Ligularias in my garden and they're all right. One of them I had in its spot for probably like four years and I knew I needed to move it. Finally I moved it last year and it's doing a hundred percent better. So I know if I try these uh, in the right spot they'll do great for me and get large and beautiful. So this one is called Brit Marie Crawford. It's so pretty and then it gets a yellow bloom on it. I love it. Uh, the next one I have is just the Bottle Rocket. This also gets yellow blooms on it. And I think this is the one I seen at my cousin Travis's yard and I went nuts over it. So I just got one of each just to test them out and see how they do. Next up, I got these Jacob's Ladder. I seen these in their garden center the other day too and I just had to have them. Uh, same situation though, I just got one of each because I know Jacob's Ladder uh, to be kind of like a spreader and I don't really want that to happen. So I just wanna test these out and see. I actually might even split this one for sure uh, into three chunks. We'll see once we get it out of the pot and see what we're working with. Um, but I don't, I just kind of want to test it out for this year and see how it does, see if it spreads and how, how crazy it gets or whatever. I'm, I'm not really sure. Maybe, maybe they breed them now and they don't do that, but this one is beautiful. It's got like this almost, almost bronzy leaf. It's a mixture of bronze and green and it's just beautiful. I love the texture and then it gets these pretty blue flowers on it. This one is called Heaven Scent. Polymonium Jacob's Ladder. I also got... Oh, this variegated one. Can you believe how gorgeous that is? I probably could actually split that too, but we'll just maybe plant this one and see what it does. So yes, this one is called Golden Feathers Jacob's Ladder. The rest of the plants are annuals. I'm going to plant up three planters and put them on my pool deck. Of course, one of the plants I got was geraniums and I got the Bulby Dark Red, my favorite. <laughs> Red is just my favorite, especially in geranium. And you guys, I'm gonna overwinter these this year. So this is gonna be actually money saved. All right, so we're gonna put, in the planters, we're gonna put a red geranium. Annuals were 50% off too. We're gonna put this white grass. See if you catch on to my pattern here. White grass, graceful grasses, skyrocket. And a blue evolvelist. Blew my mind. And just for a little bit more red, because when geraniums are done blooming, you have to pinch off the stalk. Uh, I got these uh, Surefire Cherry Cordial with the bronze leaf. So I'm gonna do red, white, and blue planters. <laughs> surprise, surprise. But this is what they're gonna look like. This is what I was kind of going with. So I'm gonna plant these up. I also got the planters at Garden Crossing for 25% off. So I'll show you those. They're only nine bucks a piece. I thought these would look really pretty on my deck and they're only nine bucks a piece, 25% off. And I also got 
a free pen. <laughs> a free pink pen. Thank you very much. Yes, please. And a free tape measure. Yes. I feel like I died and went to heaven right now. Well, I am going to probably go find a spot for all of these and I can't wait to show Nady when he gets home. He's gonna be so proud of me. <laughs> and hopefully soon we'll get back in here and you guys can help me plant these. So anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me, uh, going up to that sale at Garden Crossings and also spending time with me as I show you all the wonderful plants I got. I hope that you have a great day.